Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today, I'm doing a requested video. Ocean Sailing requested that we revisit our door and do some shots at an angle. And what I'm going to do, we've got measured off here 10 feet. So 10 feet from the door, right here will be roughly a 45 degree angle. and we'll see what happens. Then I'm going to move all the way over here. It's going to be roughly a 65, 70 degree angle and see what happens. We're going to be shooting a 9 millimeter. We'll be using our Ruger. And we'll be shooting a 40 cal. We'll be using our Smith. And 45. We'll be using the Remington RP. And we're also going to shoot a 223 out of an AR at it. And I got a 12 gauge out for the final shot. Got the little camera set up. Hopefully, we'll get the exit hole videos good. So, enough yapping. Let's get to shooting. Now, get her ears on. Gotta be safe. All right, first up is our 9mm. First shot at 45 degree angle. I got a basic 115 grain, just full metal jacket. Now let's go to our 70 degree mark, and for that one, I've got a good hollow point. And we're clear. Alright, so that was our 9 and 70. Alright, let's move on to the 40 cap. Now for both shots on the 40 cal, I uh, forget which brand these are, just, just some extra ammo, but it's just your basic flat nose full metal jacket. Clear. Alright, this is 40 and 45. Alright, let's do our next 40 shot at a 70 degree angle. Excuse me. Shot a little low on that. This really pulled the trick. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's pretty cold out here and the hands are feeling. It's still a viable shot to get information off of. There's a 40 or 70 degree angle. All right, for a 45. Uh, just doing basic cellar and bellet, uh, full metal jacket, round nose. Alright, there's the 45 and 45. 
the pot. Now we'll get over here at our steep 70 degree angle. Basic low cost, nothing fancy, 223. They are the little hollow points. And uh, yeah, we know this ain't going to turn out good. But that's why we do this test, so we can see how stuff turns out. Extreme angle here, Let's say 70 degrees. Let's see what we got. Safety off, she's hot. We clear his firearm. There's our 223, roughly 70 degrees. All right, now for the shotgun, I'm going to have to go lower on this door. Got a big piece of metal here helping hold it up. We'll go into this panel, and then we'll go down to this panel for a 12 gauge. Right, get her ears back on. Right, and I have some Winchester, seven and a half. Uh, they say trap on them. Two and three quarter, one in, oh wait a minute, this is a two and three quarter, one and an eighth, nine. Skeet load, that'll be our second shot. And our first shot's gonna be a Winchester, one and an eighth, seven and a half trap. Trap plus, whatever that means. All right, there, 45. Yeah, I just like shooting this thing. Didn't make much of a difference at the angle, did it? Stream, and I'm going to shoot at the bottom. And shotgun's clear. So here was our 12 gauge at 45. And there's a 12 gauge of 70. All right, guys. Let me grab the camera and we'll get a close up on these shots and go around back and uh, see what we got. All right, like I say, so y'all can get a perspective. This is what 10 feet is when I was shooting at the 45 degree mark. And this is what I was referring to as a 70 degree mark. All right, walk up there and see what we got. They're both for nines, 45s, I mean 40s, my bad. Here's the 45s, 
our two two threes, and then both of our twelves. All right, let's walk around back and see what kind of damage we got. Well, it just appears that everything made it through. There's a 9 at 45. Here's a 9 at 70. 45 hole ain't so bad. That 9 at 70 will really rip it hard. But here's our 40 at 45. Yep, rip right through there. Here's our 40 at 70 degrees. Same thing. And of course our 45. Five. 45 started out in this, I'm going to call it the center panel here. And that's what was throwing me off. They ended up where the, uh, in the next panel. So we got. Okay, take a look there. This is our 45 at 45. Well, somebody can't write today. And this is our 45 at 70. Just seemed like they took a lot more of an angle when they got in that door than the other two did. All right, and these right here are two two threes that's at 45 and that's at 70 really not a big difference between them two now as far as a 12 gauge yeah that's our 12 gauge at 45 like I say that was just some basic shot no slug or nothing now as we go down here, this is our 12 gauge, it's 70, but still ripped a hole in it. Uh, quite interesting. Well alright, there's the results to that as you can see, it really doesn't matter on these front doors. Like I say, this is a common front door that's in most households, there's just not much to it. Seen a shooting with the 22 or straight on, it went right through it. But doing it with your, this is what I refer to as your basic carry style weapons. You got your 9, your 40, and your 45, and they just ripped right through there. And the 45, I tend to straight a little bit once it got caught up in that styrofoam, but it still exited with a lot of power. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. And Ocean's Eleven, I hope I shot this video the way that you wanted it, and I hope it's good, useful information to you. Well, guys, thank you so very much, and if you would, drop me some comments and any questions and suggestions, just like this video here was a suggestion, and I surely appreciated it, and I was happy to do it. Please, if you're able, hit us up on our Patreon page, and if you would, Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all and have a fantastic day.